My name is Miranda Gray and I'm the author of Red Moon, Understanding and Using the Creative, Sexual and Spiritual Gifts of the Menstrual Cycle. In my book Red Moon, I divide the menstrual cycle into four goddess energies which approximate the four phases of the menstrual cycle, that is the pre-ovulation phase, ovulation phase, premenstrual phase and menstrual phase. In this talk I'm going to talk about the Enchantress phase, our premenstrual phase. And it starts roughly around day 21 of our cycle and lasts until approximately our first day of bleeding, our first day of menstruation. The premenstrual phase is probably the most challenging for many women. And for a lot of us, the idea that there is a positive side to the premenstrual phase and that there are positive gifts to benefit from may seem ludicrous. I totally understand this point of view because I too have suffered from PMS symptoms and physical problems during the phase. However, the premenstrual phase is the most amazing, exciting and magical of the phases. And when we understand this phase in terms of our cycle and we live in tune with it, then we become, to empower, we become empowered to balance it in our lives. Just as Persephone climbed out of the labyrinth in the pre-ovulation phase, the maiden phase of spring, in the premenstrual phase she now has to retread her steps back down into the labyrinth and into the underworld. And as she makes this journey, the life force withdraws from the land and the animals and plants fall into hibernation. The same is true for us. In the mother phase, our energies radiated out beautifully into the world. But now it is time to slow down, to turn inwards and to withdraw, stepping down into the underworld. What makes it so hard for women in our modern lives to do this withdrawal and to get in contact with the benefits of this phase is we are expected to maintain the same level of energy throughout the month. We're not allowed to slow down and be more intuitive and more spiritual in this phase. And when we fight this phase, perhaps by putting more hours in at work to achieve the same level of things that we achieved in the pre-ovulation and ovulation phases, perhaps using caffeine and stimulants to help us keep going, we are in fact fighting ourselves. And it's little wonder that our cycles can become disruptive. However, if we do slow down and connect the Enchantress phase energies, we discover some amazing abilities. We have superpowers of intuitive and psychic abilities, and we can walk easily between the everyday world and the spiritual worlds. We can experience dynamic levels of energy with the power to clear out and to organise. We can have the gift of knowing and seeing what is wrong. And we have access to amazing powers of creative inspiration that can run through us like sexual fire. So not only do we have the power to spot a problem, but we also have the creative inspiration to fix it. So this month, I'd like you to slow down and to see what benefits this phase has for your cycle and for you. Check your diary, look at your dates, delegate tasks, move responsibilities, get somebody else to do things, change deadlines and change your expectations of what you can do. Give yourself some time to connect with the Enchantress Goddess energies and to express her energies in the way they want to be expressed. So perhaps set up a quick creative project that you can focus your wild creative energies on when they appear in your cycle. Perhaps notice somewhere in your home that needs clearing out or is cluttered so that when you feel the intolerance and the impatience of mess and clutter you can focus that energy on that area of your home and get it clean 
and cleared and organised. And perhaps find some text, a report that you can edit so that you can focus your ability to spot errors and problems in a safe and empowering way. And remember, when you spot those problems, you'll also have the creative energy to fix them. In Red Moon, I give you more information about connecting with the Enchantress Goddess energies and suggestions on how you can release her energies and express them into the world. In most of my work, the section on the premenstrual phase is by far the largest. Our cycles are beautiful. Every phase is important. And it's only when we repress a goddess energies or solely focus on a single goddess's energies that we find we disconnect from our natural self-confidence, well-being, happiness, creativity, sexuality and spirituality. To find out more about the menstrual cycle and my book Red Moon, please visit www.redmoonthebook.com My name is Miranda Gray and I am the author of Red Moon Understanding and Using the Gifts of the Menstrual Cycle.